I'm Logan Crawford, and right now on Spotlight, we're excited to introduce you to a very talented author by the name of Jeremy Cohn, and he has written a fantastic book, a novel called The Epic Tale of Cody Coyote. It's a unique book created over five years. It features over 25 high quality illustrations, original songs, and a captivating narrative where animals team up for an epic journey, appealing to both young readers and old folks like me. We're excited to have this very talented author join us here today on Spotlight. We thank her team at Prime 7 Media for helping us put him in the spotlight today. And we ask viewers like you to support writers like him by subscribing to our channel and by purchasing his wonderful and delightful book. The links are below this interview. Jeremy, thanks so much for being our guest today here on Spotlight. Thanks for having me, Logan. This is quite a compilation of work. It's really more than a book. Um, it's writing, it's illustrating, it's music. Um, what mm -hmm. made you decide to take all of these different art forms and meld them together into the epic tale of Cody Coyote? Well, the inspiration came uh, from knowing that people, the more sensory uh, you get um, that people uh, have, the more of a realistic experience they can have with um, with a story, you know? And that's why I think the movie industries have been so successful because you're captivated by audio, by music, by visuals, by special effects and all these things. And I just wanted to try to build a story uh, with those three elements where you have the ability to imagine and have illustrations to kind of help you and guide you with, those, with that imagination. And also the music really connects to the soul and to the heart. And that's that's one thing that's a little unique about this one. Uh, so I wanted to try to reach out and, and, and grab the reader as much as I could and help them as much as I could with the story, so. And you've absolutely accomplished that. In fact, it's almost like a treatment for a movie or a uh, series um, because you're providing everything, what it would look like, what the text would be and what the music would be. Have you visualized this perhaps as a film or a series of some sort? That's a good question. I, I've imagined it as a movie so many times because I can actually mm. see it playing in my head as a movie, kind of like a DreamWorks or a Disney movie, you know, and it's it was actually written with that in mind. So I'm hoping to appeal to maybe filmmakers and movie makers uh, to someday put it into to motion. Okay. Hollywood, if you're listening, here's a project that's ready to go. Like I said, it's got a great story. It's got great pictures and it's got music to go along with it as well. And we need a colorful character like Cody Coyote in our, uh, in our media view point for sure. Tell us for the folks at home, tell us a little bit what the story of Cody Coyote is all about. You know, really the story of Cody Coyote, um, it really appeals to young, young boys uh, about junior high where they're trying to figure out who am I? Uh, it has to do with finding identity, knowing who you are, because uh, that's what his struggle is in the story. Um, and then he, he also struggles with what is my purpose in life? You know, what am I supposed to do in this phase of life? And then um, the last thing it, it, it uh, addresses is, am I able to, to accomplish this? Am I able to live this dream? Am I able to accomplish this goal? And so I'm really trying to appeal to those three things right there. Um, and Cody does all that because he's a little timid and unsure of himself, like a lot of heroes are in the journey. And then as he gets guidance from a, a wise owl named Otto, he begins to uh, kind of build his confidence by uh, trusting him and what he says about who he is and who he's meant to be. Uh, and he discovers that as he goes about the journey and meeting new friends and uh, going forward with with what he's supposed to do in life, so. Wonderful, it's a great tale. Do you consider yourself a writer who draws, a drawer, an artist who creates music? What are you first, an author, or are you a, a, a lyricist and songwriter, or are you a uh, an illustrator? You know what, around age 12, I started doing all three. And mm -hmm. so what, when I was young, I never wanted to leave any one of those disciplines behind. I wanted to keep them kind of even in their, uh, you know, development as a as an artist and as somebody who um, wants to express from all three of those avenues. So I never wanted to leave any one of those behind, and I try to keep them all even. But if I were to pick one, I suppose uh, 
music is probably the most involved. Um, there's a lot of different, more complex aspects to music and developing songs and so forth, uh, from poetry to music and tempo and timing and all those things. Are, it's a very complex, but uh, artist, I would say next, and then writer would be last. Yeah. Well, I think you do all three uh, wonderfully, so it'd be hard to choose among the three. Um, but uh, it, it you're is, a triple threat. We call that in showbiz a triple <laughs> threat. Somebody who can act, dance, and sing. You can write, draw, yeah. and uh, create music as well. So you are a triple threat, sir. You have written a um, or working <laughs> on another installment of Cody Coyote, as I understand, called Escape from the Ancient Realm. Tell us about that. Uh, yes, sir. Um, so the first book I really wanted to dedicate to my oldest son. So he, the character of Cody Coyote is really about my oldest son. He's 14, and he actually sang the second song, Hear My How. Um, and the sequel to that book, the second um, novel, is Escape from the Ancient Realm. is about my second son, Judah. He's nine. Mm -hmm. And that book is about uh, the realm uh, where... Um, I don't want to spoil the story, but they get trapped in this realm where there are dinosaurs and, you know, mammoths and saber tooth tigers, basically, but they don't call them that. And they're trying to escape kind of this Jumanji style realm where they're getting hunted by these massive creatures. At, and they got trapped there by going through a portal from a, the book of um, the book of realms. Basically, they set a spell and they got trapped there. But it's really exciting. It's it's there's a lot in that book. And I've about a quarter way through that book now. Um, That's great. Of course it yeah, it takes a lot and of time it, to, to do it. It also sounds like it would really appeal to kids because, and to, you know, like you said, uh, teens and so forth. Uh, yeah. Because they love, you know, Land of the Lost, uh, dinosaurs, the whole like, you know, monster element, if you will, right? Yeah. Yeah, they do. It's yeah. very enticing. Yeah. What was your reaction to your kids when you first gave them uh, Cody Coyote and said, hey, what do you think of this? My, my kids, uh, my two oldest boys, my daughter's five, but my two oldest boys are extremely brilliant. Um, mm -hmm. My boys read an average of 2,000 to 3,000 pages a month uh, wow. of just novels. And my middle child um, reads about 3,000 pages. And he was the final editor of Cody Coyote, the storyline editor of it. So mm -hmm. he read it four times. Wow. Um, which is, which takes a lot of discipline for a young person to do that uh, unless they love reading. You know, my, my son Judah loves it. He, he's nice and he's honest um, in his criticism. He's just very honest and like kids are, you know, he's yeah. very straightforward. He'll tell me, dad, why did, why did you make the character do this? <laughs> this has happened over here. Very logical kid. He's very brilliant. My son Judah and Ben also very talented pianist, singer, and now he's writing a novel himself. And so my, I was blessed with very good kids. So. Well, I think they were blessed also with a good dad, a talented dad, and a dad <laughs> who's showing a great example of how Thank you me. can express yourself through many different media. Uh, and you've done that with this book. It's called The Epic Tale of Cody Coyote. It is a unique book indeed, crafted over a number of years. It has multiple high quality illustrations drawn by the author, original songs written by the author, and of course, a captivating story as well, where animals team up for an epic journey. You will just love it. It's highly recommended. Holidays are around the corner. This book would be a great gift. Who is your target audience, by the way, Jeremy? What ages are you targeting more or less? Well, you know, I'm targeting basically eight through 13 years old. Um, but, but like I mentioned before, there. There is a lot of for adults in this book uh, from geopolitical um, elements because you have three different creatures that have three separate types of governments and they're all trying to get along, work together, repel uh, a threat from the North, the Cougars. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of uh, adult um, benefit to reading this book because, and I know a lot of adults that love stories like this anyway, it's not just meant for those kids, but if I were gonna target an age, it would be eight through 13. Exactly. Yeah. And parents will enjoy it as well. And uh, younger kids would enjoy having it read to them. And it's a great way to introduce them to a fine piece of literature and a creative project. That's for sure. Jeremy, thank you so much for joining us here today on Spotlight. Sure. Glad to be here.
My pleasure. Great having you. And to the folks at home, I'm Logan Crawford, thanking you for your time this time. Until next time on Spotlight.